Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Um, today I'm here to do a pick a card reading. I've got three piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three. As I talk, as I'm speaking to you, I want you to tune into these piles and see which one you're gravitating towards more. Um, this is going to be what Spirit wants you to know for the month of November, okay? And the reason why I've done this pick a card reading is just to say a big thank you to each of you who have subscribed and supported my channel in some way. I recently reached five, 5K subscribers. Um, so this is my little way of saying thank you and just giving back to you guys, all right? Now, this is a general reading, so take what speaks, leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, uh, feel free to check out the description box below. All the details will be there on how to connect with me or work with me. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to let you know that I'm also over on Instagram where I do a variety of separate readings over there as well. So feel free to go and check those out. I will be uploading some new generals over to my IGTV uh, channel um as the week unfolds okay so just to reiterate this is pile number one pile number two and pile number three we're going to start with pile number one i'm going to move the other two poles aside now and as you may have noticed already i have my shell and coral collection joining us for this particular reading um Yes, I was drawn to their energy, so yeah, they wanted to make a special appearance. <laughs> so let's start with the first card. We've got the butterfly spirit coming through. Okay, so this speaks to changes and transformation, you guys. So you may be experiencing in the month of November some kind of change or transformation. Um, it doesn't surprise me. We are moving into Scorpio season and Scorpio season is all about inner and outer transformation. So you may be experiencing an inner and or an outer transformation, inner where you're um, transforming, you know, uh, beliefs, maybe you're transforming a mindset, okay, um, you're transforming how you view yourself or yeah you're going through an internal transformation and for others for others of you this could be an external transformation where it could mean that you are eliminating some people out of your life okay you could be going through an elimination process where you're sort of looking at your networks you're looking at your social groups you're looking at the people in your life and you're clearing out maybe some of those contacts or some of those connections that are not supportive to you on your journey with where you're currently at, okay? I see you really wanting to spread your wings. You are definitely um, transforming to the point where other people are going to notice the changes in you. For others of you, you may be going through a physical transformation where you're, you're physically transforming your appearance or your physical features or your body, okay? For others of you, this might mean um, adopting a healthier lifestyle where you're including a little bit more exercise into your daily regime. Maybe you're choosing to eat healthier. Um, you're really you know, drawn to healthier food options, okay? Maybe for some of you, um, you're looking at the quality of foods that you're eating. You're becoming more mindful as to what um, products you're consuming, okay? For others of you, this is um, not even just consuming food, but what are you consuming emotionally, mentally, um, even via uh, social media? Like, what are you watching? What are you reading? Like, what are you consuming through social media? What are you consuming through um, your networks, right? What are you choosing to listen to? So...
I see the number 11 here. This is, um, I'm drawn to the number 11 now. And this is, uh, 11 is a master number from my understanding. So this is a major time, okay? This is a major, major time for you. This is a significant uh, period for you. Maybe you have been due to make these changes for quite some time and spirit is saying like now is the time like now more than ever it's really pulling you and i feel that once you go through this transformation you're going to feel a whole lot lighter i also see you being quite um sociable once you come out the other side of this transformation okay but i do see you releasing a lot internally externally or perhaps it's both perhaps you're doing a whole major uh declutter you know in and out inside and out all right so let's see what else we've got we've got the ace of pentacles coming through here beautiful we've got the three of swords let me just lift this up three of swords and we've got the five of swords okay so we've got a lot of swords energy and butterfly is um an air element so this could do with the mind this is to do with thoughts but let's start here with the Ace of Pentacles first. I feel like this is um, this is your chance to really take this opportunity and do something practical and worthwhile with it. Okay, so I'm seeing that you're on board with this. Whoever chose this group, you're on board with this transformation. Because, see, you're wanting to see results now. There's an opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles to see major, major results. Okay? Um, because this Pentacle is about something that you can actually attain. Okay? Something that you can actually see. So, I'm seeing this Pentacle as a result. Okay? Spirit, this is the hand of spirit. This is the hand of the divine offering you this opportunity to transform because you want results now. This is result-based transformation. Okay, this is, not, um, this is not imagination. This is not a dream or a wish. This is result-based transformation. Like I said to you before, um, this transformation, even with the pentacles, um, I see this as a physical transformation, right? So like I said, some of you are going through a body change or physical appearance, or maybe it could just be simple as changing your hair, you know, starting fresh, you know, a new hair color or something like that. And that's physical transformation. You can actually see the result of that transformation, right for others of you this could be health related with this pentacle take that that could be like i said diet um yeah diet food um you know stress levels like if you if if you've been stressed out which i can see with these cards it that's probably likely um then this is about, you know, what can you do to bring more balance, to feel lighter? Because the butterfly is light, okay? Um, the butterfly is a very lightweight energy. It's a, a lightweight um, insect. So you're wanting to feel lighter. If you've been feeling really heavy um, due to stress, okay? then I see you wanting to look after yourself in this way. And the opportunity is there to make these transformations, okay? For others of you with the Ace of Pentacles, you will be invited to perhaps join 
um, a fitness club or a fitness group. Okay, for others of you, this pentacle could speak to transformations at work. Maybe you're going through a, a, a change at work or you could be going through financial changes. Okay, now these financial changes are about how to perhaps increase your finances or this could be the start of creating your own business or designing a product or designing your own business, something like that. It's a wonderful opportunity being offered to you and this is results based. We've got the three of uh, swords here. Now this speaks to sadness. Okay, this speaks to heartbreak. I feel like whoever chose this group this pile, pile number one, um, you've been through a lot of sadness, you've been through a lot of pain, um, there was, you know, there could have been a number of months, weeks or years where you've experienced this heavy burden on way, you know, on your heart. Now, there is a heart in this card. So this is something that um, has impacted your heart, not on a physical level, but I mean like perhaps it had to, something to do with love, okay? And we've got three swords here, so it could be third-party energy. There could be someone around you. Uh, there could be a couple of other people um, around you that have contributed to this pain. Two's company, three's a crowd. That's what I heard. Two's company, three's a crowd. So it could be a love relationship that we're speaking to here. Now, or it could be something that you're passionate about with this heart, okay? Now, whatever this third sword is, um, Whatever you're passionate about, it could be to do with work. It could be to do with a project. But this third sword could be, if, if it's work-related, it could just be um, someone in your work environment. If you've been um, working alongside someone and you've, worked, you've collaborated really well, there could have been a third person that's come in and um, betrayed you or somehow hurt you because this is sadness it could have been someone that you had a commitment with because the ace of pentacles is a commitment energy right it could have been someone that um offered you a proposal and now you know that's been taken away now if that doesn't speak to you that's all right this is someone that you have a commitment with Okay, whether it's work-related or relationship-based. It's something that you were committed to and someone was committed to you. Okay, but there has been a third-party energy come in and interfere with this commitment. We have the Five of Swords here. I see three people in this card. Okay. Okay. And this speaks to a battle, conflict, words were said, actions were taken. I don't get a very nice energy from this card. Okay, I see two people walking away. And I see this butterfly releasing itself from all of this pain and all of this chaos. You are this butterfly and you're committed to your growth, you're committed to your transformation and you're committed to your change. You want to release yourself from this pain and release yourself from these people that have maybe 
you know, inflicted this pain upon you. Let's have a look at the other cards. We've got we've got these this staircase here. And we've got this anchor. I think it's called an anchor. So the beautiful thing about these, well, let's start with this card here, the staircase, right? As a result of freeing yourself up, as a result from clearing out, you know, your environment or your inner internal state, you're going to be presented with um, two opportunities because I see two doors here. Okay, and look, it's sitting right here with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're definitely going to be presented with an opportunity to do something really worthwhile with your transformation. Okay, and I feel like you're definitely wanting to make progress because this stair has this red carpet leading all the way up to the top. Okay, and I see you climbing. I see you elevating. I see you up leveling, okay? And as a result from this, you know, amazing growth that is taking place in your life, there you're going to be presented with a couple of opportunities. Now, it's just a matter of asking yourself, which opportunity do you take? Okay, which opportunity do you take? For some of you, I see you walking through, if you work, walk through the first door, I see this as um, something that's got to do with career and finances. This is something to do with you being seen for the work that you do or for the business that you're about to um, develop. It's something that's um, where you're going to be seen, okay? It's something where you're going to you're going to be recognised and you're going to be seen. And I see abundance here for for those of you if it's career related or work related, okay? I see major uh, financial success or just abundance. If if it's not financial success, it's just abundance. Okay, maybe for some of you, it's wealth. Maybe for some of you, it's just abundance in, um, how can I explain this? Abundance in, uh, you know, I can't think of the words, it's terrible. Clients, maybe that you're going to have um, an abundance of clients or, or, or an abundance of an audience or something like that. That's the best way to describe it. For the others of you that walk through door number two, this is about wanting mental clarity, okay? Freeing yourself up mentally, okay? Not wanting to have um, anything that's bogging you down thought wise okay you want to free up your thoughts you want to free up your mind and just even doing that even if you choose that door okay you're going to feel a whole lot lighter and a whole lot more expansive you're going to feel a whole lot more clearer about your direction moving forward coming over here with the anchor I see, see this anchor is up on the surface of a very, uh, of very stormy waters. So you've been through some troubled times. I still see you wanting to come out of this, but you will. Okay. See, whatever weighed you down in the past is no longer weighing you down because you've decided to make some major changes, okay? Five is representative of change and three is representative of growth, 
of acceleration, of shifting things to the next level. Okay, and um, there's there's you're going to feel freer as a result from this because see this anchor is on top of the water it's not weighing you you down anymore or rather you're deciding that you're not going to allow this to weigh you down anymore okay so it's just about clearing out those emotions or those residual emotions that are still hovering from this pain Okay, but you will, you will go through it. There may be um, periods or days or moments where it gets a little bit choppy for you. But I do see you clearing this out completely. This is not going to weigh you down anymore. And that's really, really nice. So the overall message here, guys, um, we've got true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Yeah. See, this choppy water, that, that's the trigger. But you're healing those triggers due to this third-party energy. Like I said, it could be work-related or love-related um, or it could be family-related, okay? This could be family, family disputes. This could be someone coming in and um, getting involved in your marital affairs or just getting involved in something that you're passionate about, getting involved in your affairs, getting involved in your business. Okay, friends or family, whichever way the pendulum swings for you, you're the decider. Okay, and you're, you're freeing yourself up from this. You're choosing to free yourself up from some people in your environment that are not supportive of you. Okay? They do nothing but maybe stick their nose into your affairs. And they weren't asked to. Okay? So, yeah, I see with this card that you are going to have some results-based healing. People are going to see the healing that has or will transpire within you. They will see the shift. They will notice. It will be um, obvious to people that you're changing and that you've changed. Okay, so that's poll number one. I hope that spoke to you guys. Pile number one. So let me just move these out the way and we'll go to pile number two now. Okay, we've got the dog spirit coming through. So this is about loyalty, you guys. So in the month of November, spirit wants you to know that this has got to do with loyalty. Okay, maybe you are wanting to now be loyal to one particular person or maybe there's someone in your environment that wants to offer you their loyalty. Okay, this speaks to a relationship. This speaks to partnership. This speaks to connection. But most importantly, this is being loyal to what you love. Okay, be loyal to what you love. Who is it or what is it that you love and be loyal to that, be committed to that. This also speaks to unconditional love. Okay, I feel like um, with the number nine, this is coming to the end of a cycle. So if, if you've been single, this is like closing out now. You will enter 
a partnership or you will enter a relationship and you will choose to be committed to this partner or vice versa. Someone coming into your life that is very loyal. Um, this could also be a friend. It doesn't have to be love, okay? All partnerships, all relationships. This could be friendship-based. For some of you, you are going to experience um, a new friend, found friendship with someone. And they're very kind, they're very caring. If this is someone else, they're very kind, they're very caring. Um, they always like to be near you. Um, they're happy to please you, okay? Now, if this is something that you're working on, if this is something that you're passionate about, you're going to be committed to, to this project, creative endeavor. Okay, because um, I do see creativity here. It's something that you love. It's something that you're, you're passionate about. Spirit is saying, now's the time to be committed to this. Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Four of Pentacles. Just move these up. And we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you could be, for some of you, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Um, let's start over here with the swords energy, the seven of swords. This is about, this is about, um, a time of really getting honest with yourself. Okay. Be loyal to what you love. I'm also seeing here that maybe through November, you're needing to keep, um, something private or something hidden. It can speak to deception, but I'm not picking deceptive energy up here. I'm sort of picking this up through you just needing to keep this in the bag for a little while longer. Okay. If you are dealing with a relationship, maybe this person in the past has been noted for not being committed or loyal, right? Maybe they've been caught out a number of times of doing things that are not honourable, okay? But they're, they're choosing to commit. Maybe in the past they've kept secrets but now they're choosing to unveil those secrets. They're choosing to open up and tell you everything. Okay? And it could be something that they've been holding on to for quite some time if you're dealing with someone else. Now, if this is you personally and you're not really dealing with anyone like this or have these kind of energies around you, that's okay. What I'm just seeing here is it's just um, stay true to your course, okay? Stay faithful to what you're passionate about. This could be to do with your purpose, right? This could be to do with what lights you up or what brings you joy, but you're just needing to keep it private for now, okay? And even with this Four of Pentacles, it's saying here, hold on to this. Do not let this go. Do not let this out of the bag just yet. Keep it close to your chest. No one needs to know what this is. I feel like for some of you, this is um, work or career related. This could be business related. 
For some of you with the King of Pentacles, okay, the King of Pentacles is someone who um, is in business, but within the re in the reversal, I'm seeing that yet this business model or something here is um, is still building. Okay, it hasn't been fully developed yet. So you're this King of Pentacles in the reverse. You're still in the process of building something, of putting something together. And um, the, whatever this is, it has the potential for long-term stability and long-term success. This is something tangible. This is something... Um, It, it's to do with the material world. Perhaps you're needing to invest more funds or more money into this business model or into this project or product that you're creating or building. But with this card here, it's saying here, be committed to this, be loyal to this. Don't tell everyone anything about this right now. Maybe only tell a selected few. Be very careful who you tell. Oops, sorry. I can't even... It's terrible. I can't even pick up my cards. Be careful who you tell because I see someone around you that could possibly be jealous of whatever you're creating here. So just be very selective and be very mindful of who you tell because I see someone here maybe stealing your ideas. Okay, that's why I'm saying just keep it close to your chest right now. Because whatever this is, there's major growth here. Okay, maybe it's just um, if you're not building a business or if you're not building a product right now, this is you developing your skills or developing you. So you could be um, just in the process of studying. Maybe you're looking at um, going into studying something in November. Maybe you want to sign up for that course, right? Or do that online program. And whatever this is, it's, it's requiring you to um, invest, invest, okay? Put your hands in your pockets invest in yourself, develop your skills. Because I'm seeing here with this be loyal to what you love is you, you're you realising for poll number two, you're realising that you deserve this now. You're worthy of this now. You're ready for this now. You want to be um, a leader or someone in charge running his or her own show. But it's in the reversal. So this has not come to light just yet. Or maybe if you are a leader, you're kind of like just back at, um, you know, you're back with your head in the books, developing yourself, you know, developing your knowledge or growing or expanding your knowledge. Something like that. So we've got um, the fish card coming through. And we've got the lady on the horse or the carousel horse. So I see this fish as, um, yeah, someone definitely fishy around you. Okay, see this fish here? He's going in this direction like this person is. So be very careful of someone um, not trustworthy in your environment. Okay, there's someone in your environment that's not trustworthy that you may want to share this with, but I feel like they're out for themselves. Okay, they may take something from you. All right, and yet there's a couple of other fish around here. See, like these two swords planted in the ground. They're the ones that you can trust. There's a couple of people around you that you can really trust. Um. that can help you really develop this. 
okay now fish is also representative of abundance so this is definitely um there's abundance surrounding you in november or in the months following november okay wherever you're going on your journey there is abundance awaiting you and the fish are telling me fish is um it's produce okay we eat fish it's produce so this is something um, that you can produce, an endless supply of something. You're producing something that is um, going to be abundant, that is going to be nourishing, rich. Okay. Um I definitely see you with this, um, there's a lady on a carousel horse here. You're definitely on the move. Okay, but this horse is still attached to a carousel that you can't see. So in some way, you're still kind of controlled So um, you're needing to, whatever this is, because th this horse is definitely on the move, but it's being controlled by something outside of itself. So it could be to do with an institution that's controlling how fast you go. Does that make sense, you guys? You're not, this person on this horse isn't really in control of that horse. You're on the horse, okay, you're on the horse and you're moving, but it's controlled by something else. So like I said, it could be an institution, it could be um, a program that you've signed up to that really just stipulates, okay, this is how fast we move through the modules or the course or the content, right? You may be, um, I'm also seeing this lady holding a letter. So this, this is news, this is messages. Um, I feel like it's very good news. If, you've, if you have been studying or if you're about to embark um, this journey, I feel like it's gonna be very, very good news. Okay, I just see this rainbow as abundance. Now, the overall message is when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. So what I'm getting here with this card is that this is something that um, this is something that you're passionate about because alignment is something that you're ready for. You're aligned. You're aligned to this. And when you're in alignment, you can create or you can manifest wonderful outcomes, okay? When you're in alignment, nothing can come along and disturb or um, disrupt the outcome. So with that alignment message if there's a few people around you and you feel that one of these people is not in alignment with you or with your purpose or with your message or with your heart or whatever that is you know that you cannot trust this person this is something that you're going to feel okay you're going to feel that they're not aligned Maybe they, maybe they want um, something different to you and that doesn't speak to you like, oh, okay, they don't want what I want. So therefore, they're not in alignment with me. So I'm not going to sign on the dotted line with this person. Okay. So align to those who have your best interest at heart and you'll know because you'll feel it by the energy. Okay, so there's that message for poll number two. 
I hope that helped, guys. Sorry if I'm a bit slow today. <laughs> okay, let's go to pile number three. If, for those of you who chose pile number three, we've got the vulture spirit coming through. Nothing is wasted. Beautiful, beautiful card. Um, now, just like pile number one, uh, we are moving into Scorpio season and Scorpio season is all about transformation. And the vulture spirit is, um, you know, the vulture in the wild is someone who comes along and cleans up the environment. Okay, it's, it's an animal that comes up and cleans away, um, you know, all the toxic stuff in the environment. Cleans the environment up. So I see you maybe clearing out or cleaning up something toxic in your environment. If there's someone toxic around you, I see you healing yourself from this toxic energy. Okay? Or maybe you are going to be healing other people because I see this as a healing energy, the vulture. You could be the healer for other people at this time. Or you could be healing yourself from toxic people or toxic environments. Okay. Um, I'm seeing here that, okay, I'm seeing anger. So for some of you, maybe you've experienced anger or maybe you are experiencing anger. Now, if you are experiencing anger, um, there's nothing wrong with that. It, there's nothing to be ashamed of when you feel angry. But when you channel anger, in, in a correct way or in a correct fashion, you can really utilize it to serve you because anger is um, the fuel to get you moving from point A to point B. Okay, anger is also known as part of the grieving process. So if you're going through grief, okay, if you're going through a death, of a relationship or a death of an experience, you may feel anger or you may be experiencing anger and that anger is your fuel to clean up or clear out what no longer serves you or what is no longer in alignment with you. And that could be people, places, things. Okay? I feel like you're clearing out everything in your life. For those who chose this card, you're, you're just going through a complete overhaul. You're not leaving one stone unturned, right? You could be clearing out or decluttering your home. You could be clearing out your environment, your friendship list, like something like that. Relationships. You could be relocating. I'm also seeing for those of you who chose pile number three, um, you could be going through um, a spring clean at home, okay, where you're absolutely transforming your physical environment, like your home, you know, throwing out old pillows and you, you're probably refurbishing, okay, and that's very healing within itself, isn't it? So when you refurbish your home, when you're redecorating, um, when you're clearing out, like that's very refreshing. It's very revitalizing. It renews your energy. So I see that. I really do see that. We've got the King of Cups here. We've got the Hermit in reverse. And we've got the Emperor. Nice. Nice. Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you could be dealing with an Aries here. With the Emperor card. But I'm really seeing this Emperor as more you. This is you, the, the viewer, the watcher, the listener. Um, and you're really taking control. You're really taking charge. You're really taking responsibility for what stays and for what goes. Okay? There's that red energy again. You're very passionate about making these changes. You're fired up. And like, like I said, if that anger is channeled correctly, it will fire you up to make amazing changes. The emperor knows what he or she wants. I'm going to say he because it's an emperor, right? You're going headstrong into this. You are determined to make these changes. You're determined to see these changes happen. You're being the initiator. You're initiating this. I like it. It's a really beautiful energy. Now, what's triggering you to initiate these changes? We've got the King of Cups over here, which is your emotions. Your emotions is what's triggering these changes. Like I said, anger. The King of Cups in reverse allows his emotions to get the better of him. Okay? Some people might look at you and say, hey, you're being very reactive about this. But maybe that's just what you need right now. Maybe you need to be reactive to get you, you know, um, to get you moving, to get, you know, this process underway. I also see here too with the King of Cups in reverse that um, as a result of being emotional in the recent past, you're now detaching from your emotions and this is going to be a head over heart decision, okay? You're doing what's best for you because see here with the Hermit in reverse, so you've done some deep soul searching and you're still doing this. This is, this is an inner transformation, with this Hermit card. Okay. Um, maybe you've been in solitude for quite some time. I'm also seeing this as a very independent energy. You're very independent. Uh, you like to do your own thing. At times you may be reclusive or introverted. You like your own space. But um, people look up to you as well with the Emperor card. Okay, you're admired, you're respected, or you will be admired and respected for doing what your soul is requesting of you to do. Okay, it's, very, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's awe-inspiring when you watch someone really make a, an amazing life change. And I feel like that's what you will probably do for other people around you. Okay, people will admire and respect your fortitude and your bravery and your courage for doing what you're about to do. Okay, we've got the moon card here and we've got the sun. Nice. So with this moon card here, this is definitely a phase you've been going through. Okay, I feel like with this moon card, you've already um, experienced these emotions. You've gone through that inner transformation. You've gone through that journey, but now you're coming out. Because the sun card here is saying, okay, um, there's no more hiding. I'm going to be seen now. I'm going to show my face. I'm going to show the world how it's done. And this is how it's done. This is how we move through. So you're moving through this phase. Because when I drew this card, I heard phase, cycle, phase. So you're moving out of this phase, okay? You've already been through this. 
now you're moving out of it, okay? The spokes of the wheel are turning, okay? And you're moving out of it. And the sun is saying, this is very positive. This is very refreshing. This is very revitalizing. Um, and this also speaks to your spirit, your will. That's how I'm picking that up. Your spirit, your will. Um, you're fired up with this sun energy too. This is very positive. This is uplifting. Beautiful. And then the overall card here, it says, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. So you're not praying for an outcome. You're creating the outcome. Okay? Spirit wants you to know that you're just getting on with it. You're going to do, you're going to be the initiator, like I said earlier. Okay? You're not going to sit back and pray and hope for the changes to happen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You might have asked spirit or you might ask spirit, hey, spirit, show me a sign. But you won't wait, you won't be waiting for the sign. Okay, so there we have it, guys. Um, I hope that helped you. For those of you who chose poll number three, uh, feel free to leave your likes and comments below, you guys. And thank you once again for supporting me and the work that I do. Um, and until next time, I'll speak to you soon.